Psst. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Creed II, released in the year 2018. The movie opens up in Kiev, Ukraine, with Ivan Drago, a former professional boxer, waking up his son, Victor, to begin his boxing training. They then go to a boxing match where Victor dominates the match and knocks out his opponent with just a few punches. Victor is a giant who has immense power and energy. Meanwhile, Buddy Marcel, a promoter, is keeping an eye on Victor from the audience. The scene then shifts to the United States where another professional boxer, Adonis Creed, aka Donnie, has won six consecutive fights after losing to Ricky Conlon three years ago. Today, Donnie is ready to compete in a World Heavyweight Championship match against Danny Wheeler, aka Stuntman. Wheeler is the same boxer against whom Danny lost his Mustang GT as a bet. Before the match, Donnie exchanges a few words with Rocky Balboa, his coach, who tells him that he must believe in himself and fight for glory. In the meantime, Donnie's girlfriend, Bianca, pays him a visit and motivates him to win the match. Moments later, Donnie enters the arena and faces Wheeler. The fight begins and both the boxers start attacking each other. Wheeler manages to land a few blows on Donnie and in return, Donnie also punches Wheeler hard. After some rounds of intense battles, Donnie hits a solid punch on Wheeler, causing him to fall to the floor unconscious. Eventually, Donnie wins the match and claims the WBC World Heavyweight Championship and the adoration of thousands of spectators. He is ecstatic about his win as he also gets his old Mustang back. Later at night, Donnie visits Rocky with an engagement ring and asks him if he should propose to Bianca for marriage. Donnie seems to be in deep love with Bianca, but he isn't sure about how to approach her. He inquires as to what Rocky said to his late wife Adrian when he proposed to her, and Rocky responds that he did something dumb. He then advises Donnie to speak from his heart and assures him that Bianca will definitely accept his proposal. Before leaving, Donnie asks about Rocky's health, and the latter replies that he's completely recovered from cancer and is in good health. After that, Donnie goes to Bianca's room and tries to propose to her as soon as she gets out of the shower. To his bad luck, when he confesses his feelings towards her, Bianca cannot hear him, as she hasn't put on her hearing aids. She just notices Donnie on one knee with the ring and has no idea how to react to the situation. Bianca is first taken aback and unsure of what to say, but after Donnie assures her of his love for her, she happily accepts his proposal. In the following scene, Rocky pays a visit to Adrian's grave and speaks with her for a moment. He states that he hasn't spoken to their son Robert in years and that he hasn't even met their grandchild. Meanwhile, Ivan, along with his son Victor, arrive in Philadelphia, backed by their promoter Buddy. Later that day, for the first time in over 30 years, Ivan pays a visit to Rocky's restaurant to meet him. Ivan is the same boxer whom Rocky beat in a famous match several years back. When Rocky arrives there, he's surprised to see Ivan waiting for him. Ivan then proposes a match between Victor and Donnie, but Rocky rejects the proposal, telling him that he should forget the rivalry between them and move on with life. Enraged, Ivan tells Rocky that he lost everything when he was beaten. He mentions that after the match, he lost not just his respect in Russia, but also his wife. Before leaving, he states that the match between Donnie and Victor is particularly very personal to him. Elsewhere, Donnie and Bianca are at a diner enjoying some quality time. Just then, a news program shows Victor vying for Donnie's World Heavyweight Championship title. The news reporters do not forget to mention that Victor is the son of the guy who assassinated Donnie's father back at that time. This enrages Donnie and he starts plotting for revenge. In the next scene, while Donnie is enjoying one of Bianca's concerts, Buddy approaches him and attempts to persuade him to fight Victor. He provokes Donnie to fight and avenge his father's death. Surprisingly, Donnie agrees to his proposal and walks away. Later, Donnie heads over to Rocky and tells him everything about his decision to fight Victor. Rocky, however, refuses the idea and mentions that he doesn't want to see him losing to Victor like his father Apollo did when he fought Ivan. He also despises the fact that Donnie is only fighting out of rage and hatred. He attempts to persuade Donnie to reconsider fighting Victor, but the latter seems determined in his choice. Seeing this, Rocky opts to sit out of the fight and refuses to coach Donnie for it. After returning from Rocky's home, Donnie tells Bianca that they're going to get settled in Los Angeles in their new apartment near his mother, Mary's house. 
Following this, Donnie and Bianca visit Mary to inform her about his decision to fight Victor. When Donnie tries to address the fight to Mary, she deduces that they're there to announce Bianca's pregnancy. Despite the fact that the pair laughs it off, Bianca decides to get a pregnancy test. To their surprise, the pregnancy test comes out positive. Donnie and Bianca then deliberate for a while and finally decide to keep the baby. Moments later, Donnie approaches Mary to inform her about the fight with Victor. Mary is visibly disappointed to learn that Donnie wishes to fight, but she agrees to let him do so, on the condition that he does not include her or Apollo in his justification for the fight. In the next scene, Donnie seeks out Tony Evers, aka Little Duke. Turns out that Tony is the son of the same man who trained Apollo back then. After a bit of thinking, Tony accepts Donnie's request to prepare him for the match against Victor. Following this, Donnie engages himself in rigorous training and leaves no stone unturned for the preparation for the fight. On the day of the announcement for the match, Victor and Donnie attack each other and show how much anger and hatred is filled inside them. The scene then shifts to the match day, where Ivan makes a remark about Apollo enraging Donnie. At the start of the match, Donnie appears to be confident in himself, landing a few strong headshots on Victor. However, the giant immediately gathers his composure and counters Donnie with several hard punches. Rocky, on the other hand, can be seen alone in his restaurant watching the fight. Meanwhile, Victor lands a series of strong punches on Donnie's ribs, breaking them. As Donnie is on his knees, writhing in pain, Victor finishes him off with an unlawful headshot. Though Victor gets disqualified for the illegal strike, everyone else is concerned about Donnie's condition. In the next scene at the hospital, the doctor approaches Bianca and informs her that Donnie is out of danger but has severe fractures in his ribs. He also mentions that he will require some time to recover. Later, when Bianca goes to visit Donnie, he cannot look at her, feeling ashamed for the loss. Rocky also attempts to pay him a visit at the hospital, but Donnie yells at him and blames him for his loss, stating that if Rocky had trained him, he would have won against Victor. After a few weeks, Bianca senses Donnie growing distant from everyone, especially her. Since Donnie is still the recognized champion, Little Duke meets Donnie and informs him that Victor wants a rematch. He also advises him that he has the option of not fighting Victor, but that he must choose an opponent quickly or risk forfeiting the championship. However, Donnie seems uninterested and walks away without responding. Meanwhile, Mary writes a letter to Rocky on the back of a sonogram photo of the unborn baby, informing him that Donnie needs him. This finally persuades Rocky, and he travels to Los Angeles to surprise Donnie at his mother's home. There, Rocky tells Donnie that he thinks of him as his own son and doesn't want him to fight against Victor. After exchanging a few insults, the two ultimately reconcile. In the next scene, the Dragos can be seen celebrating Victor's achievement with a dinner, which is disturbed when Ivan's ex-wife and Victor's mother, Ludmila, appear out of nowhere with her new husband. Enraged, Victor prepares to walk out of the place, but Ivan stops him, mentioning that they're actually there to help him. Elsewhere, Bianca eventually gives birth to a daughter, whom she and Donnie name Amara. After some time, the doctors carry out a test on Amara to find out if she too has a hearing problem like Bianca. Unfortunately, their worst fears come true, as Amara is born deaf. Hearing this, Rocky remembers his son Robert and walks out of the room. Outside, he tries to phone Robert, but eventually discards the attempt. One night, Bianca leaves Amara alone with Donnie. After some time, Amara starts crying and Donnie finds himself helpless to make her quiet. After multiple failed attempts, he takes Amara on a trip to the boxing training center. Surprisingly, when Donnie starts hitting the punching bag, she calms down and even grins at him. This makes Donnie very happy, and he realizes that Amara too loves boxing. He also realizes that boxing is in his blood, and he must defeat Victor to prove himself. At night, Donnie has a serious conversation with Bianca about facing Victor again. He also mentions that he wants to win the fight for their daughter and be her hero. Bianca reluctantly agrees and makes him promise that he will return to his family. She then starts motivating him that he must win the fight. Later, Donnie approaches Little Duke and Rocky to talk through the details of the fight, and this time Rocky agrees to coach him. Following this, Little Duke is given the task of calling the WBC and making the fight against Victor official. 
In the next scene, Rocky takes Donnie to an isolated spot in the middle of the desert, where all of the training equipment is constructed of abrasive materials in order to re-energize his spirit and familiarize him with harsh surroundings. They focus primarily on muscular endurance and real match scenarios. Slowly, Victor builds his strength and starts becoming an unbeatable boxer. Slowly, Donnie builds his strength and starts becoming an unbeatable boxer. On the other hand, Victor continues playing some club matches and wins every one of them. Not a single opponent can withstand him for more than four rounds. The scene then shifts to the match day, which is taking place in Moscow. As Donnie enters the arena, the Russian audience boos him, but Rocky, Bianca, and Mary are there to cheer him up. Victor, on the other hand, is heavily cheered by the audience, as they have come there to see him win. Before the match, Rocky comes near Donnie and tells him to stay strong and fight till the end. Soon, the match starts, and Donnie dominates the opening round to send a strong message that this duel will not end like the last one. In the second round, though, Victor counterattacks and gains the lead with multiple body blows to Donnie's ribs and powerful headshots. Victor leads the next few rounds and knocks Donnie down, but to his surprise, Donnie refuses to remain down and continues getting back up. During the round breaks, Rocky attempts to give Donnie signals to take Victor down, while Ivan urges Victor to attack Donnie and break him again. Shortly after, Donnie manages to score more effective strikes, knocking Victor down twice. Ludmila and her husband realize that Donnie's going to win the match, so they get up and walk away from the arena. When Ivan and Victor notice them leaving, Victor gets devastated as he thinks that he let his mother down. Meanwhile, Donnie continues to hit Victor, and seeing his son in a very critical condition and not defending himself, Ivan realizes that Victor will die but never give up. It then dawns on him that his son's life is more than just a title and respect. So he throws in the towel, quitting the fight and saving his son's life. With this, Donnie retains his heavyweight title. Ivan reassures Victor that it's okay that he's lost, and he embraces him. As Bianca approaches the ring to join Donnie and Little Duke in celebrating the win, Rocky excuses himself, telling Donnie to live his moment. He then takes a seat outside the ring to watch them celebrate. In the next scene, Rocky ultimately visits Robert in Chicago, where he meets his grandson Logan for the first time. Robert welcomes Rocky inside and introduces Logan to his grandfather. On the other hand, 